Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about setting up your career after 10 years of experience. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, can you please make a video on how software engineers sh should plan their career after 10 years of experience? Should we go back to pure coding and programming or just take a big leap and get expertise in a specific domain? This is purely for people who want to be in, in a technical line and do not want to do people management. Well, depending on, I'm not going to dive too much into the people management thing because I kind of think I know what you mean, but I'll, I'll just for the sake of complete, completeness say that a certain level of people management is required, but being a traditional manager, someone who is practically just dealing with people all day and never doing any coding, I think that we can stay clear of that if we don't want to go down that route. Now, if you have 10 years of experience, also that you've been doing this for long enough, that you will have mastered at least one area of software engineering. And the argument that I will make to you now is that this this question, like, because the question includes a, a statement like, should, or the question is, should we go back to pure coding and programming or just take a big leap into a new domain or to a specific domain? See. The thing is, if you've been doing this for 10 years and you have progressed to a point where you're not doing that, then you've already, in my book, taken, the st taken a step towards a better career than you could have possibly had by just doing the, the coding itself. Let me explain that a little bit. You see, what I wrote back to this subscriber was that I uh, is that I'm going to have to make some assumptions now because the thing is every 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 person has their own idea of what their long-term career goal is going to be and if I'm going to be able to give you an answer that I think is going to make sense for the vast majority of people I need to make an assumption and the assumption that I make is that your focus here is to have a long and fulfilling career with as little unemployment or ex at the very least an ex extended unemployment within IT and you want to maintain that until a retirement age. That's my assumption now because if you're looking for something more specific you're gonna have to be more specific because there is no way for me to give advice on some to someone who's just giving me this amount of information because if you want to go into I don't know competitive program and become like a famous celebrity in the coding sh circle so you want to be a public speaker things like that there's so many things you could be doing in terms of setting up a career strategy but let's go with the basic simple one now if that is your goal to stay in software development as long as possible I will argue to you that your primary focus is going to have to be how learn how to run an IT company now when I say learn how to run an IT company I don't mean learn how to become a manager and learn how to deal with stakeholders and like that stakeholders is a part of it but programmers and becoming a human resources type of character that's not what I'm talking about I'm not talking about being a necessarily a tech lead or anything like that what I'm saying is that you need to learn all the areas that make up a IT product. In other words, you need to be the true full stack developer and that is going to include learning front end development, back end development, operations and security. These are the four uh, areas that you're going to have to master if you want to be practically 100, I would say 100% sure that you have the skills to work in practically any company that does any type of web development and you will also have the skills to run your own company you can start a you can start a freelancing gig you can start a consultancy you can take on practically any job if you have these four areas down now on top of that of course things such as softer stuff like management and team leadership and stakeholder and stakeholders and all that good stuff comes into play as well but these would be the core skills so if you've been doing 10 years of development and let's say that you're weak in one of these areas then I would start looking into those areas to see right what can I improve in so that I get one of these like these things that I'm missing up to a level where I can actually you know feel comfortable taking charging people money for 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 
for having me do certain things. Because as an example, if you're a pure backend developer and you have never worked in front end, that's not a deal breaker per se, but it's going to limit what you can do what type of projects that you can work on and what type of customers are going to want to hire you. So if you want to cover your basis, this is actually the way to go. Same thing goes if you're a full stack developer. If you know everything about full stack development after 10 years of working, but you've never done ops, you've never done any type of security or pen testing or compliancy or any compliance or anything like that, then that's a very good area for you to start looking into so that you feel, you, because these things, they may not matter in a small little blog, right? like a little pizza place's tiny website, but it's going to matter for sure if you're interested in working in an environment where the stakes are higher, where you might have companies, who, if, if let's say for the sake of argument, you're going to work for a company that works with regulated pay uh, workloads or you're going to start a consultancy you want to be able to take on clients that have higher requirements than the absolute basics so what i want you to take away from this is that from my perspective everybody has to decide for them they have to decide for themselves what the long term is going to be and if you just ask me what should you do after 10 years in order to set up your career i have to make an assumption of some sort and the assumption that i make is that th is the assumption that most people are looking uh, like the, it's the it's the goal of most developers and that is to have a successful career where they can practically do whatever they want without getting fired or being unemployed and they should be able to maintain that state until retirement age in order for you to be able to do that confidently even when you're like even when you're at a retirement age where you might actually find it's harder to find employment options you're going to have in my case in my opinion you're going to have to learn how to run the IT company uh, because the the, re very, the reason is very simple if you know how to run an IT company you know everything that is required from every role practically for every single IT company that is hiring and that also means that you can you can say just fuck all of this noise and go and create your own company because you know all the things that are required like everybody else is doing that thing all these things for somebody else and you why won't why shouldn't you be able to do it and that way you can start your own company if for some reason the unemployment rates rise or the job market changes or maybe you get to an age where people don't really think about or think of hiring you anymore that none of that matters to you because you know everything that is needed so you can get your own customers and on top of that you actually have an um, opportunity to work in every single company because these are the like those are the roles that everybody is looking for once you have those skills done you can absolutely have a look at more specialized type of work you can go into specific domains and so forth but i think that even after 10 years odds are that you will not have mastered every part of all of these areas because IT is a very very big uh, big area and that's why I think it's hilarious that some people think that they can master software development and become a true full stack developer in like what a few months a few years it's not gonna happen it takes a really long time to do it but once you get there you can practically do whatever you want you can literally quit your job tomorrow and start a new start a company uh, or you can switch jobs whenever you feel like it as long as the job market allows for it so get these skills these are the skills that are for sure going to make you practically future proof in terms of uh, job security have a great day